Danny Colson is a former deputy assistant director of the FBI, and he joins us tonight. Danny Colson, thanks so much for coming on. What, Thank you. What happened here? What does this mean exactly? It's weird. Well, first of all, I didn't have any intelligence, but I knew it was going to happen. Uh, all you have to do is have common sense. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, absent that, you have to get ready. When you're a security person or you run a security operation, which this is, you, you what if yourself to death. You look at your assets, your capabilities, your structure, and then you ask yourself or you have somebody come in and say, look, if this happens, you've you got a big problem here. And they had clearly no contingency plan. They were understaffed, and they ignored all the signs that there's going to be a problem. That's that's really a shame. But why? I mean, it's it's the U.S. Capitol. It's the most politically intense time in my lifetime, anyway. Certainly in over 50 years. And so, why wouldn't you be prepared for this? And they knew there was a major rally, and they knew that Trump supporters were really mad because they thought the election was stolen from their candidate. So, I, I it really is strange. I can't give you an answer to that. It, it makes no sense to me. I'm in the security business. I've secured heads of state in Africa and South America and the United States, and I, I just don't understand what they were doing. Why weren't they preparing? Did they not have the ability to prepare? Did they not talk about it? Clearly, you could tell from the actions of the officers there from the film we saw, they didn't know what to do. They didn't know what their their red lines were. They didn't know what the rules of engagement were. They didn't know what point that they could allow people in and stop them someplace else. They weren't ready. They just didn't prepare. They could have prepared. And But let's say this. The officers individually act heroically. And remember, not one member of Congress was injured, not because of planning or preparation, because of the courage of those people there that would protect them. It's just it was grotesque to see Joe Biden today accuse them of racism, <laughs> which he did. If this had been black protesters, it would have been much different. So he's basically saying they're these people protected him his entire adult life. And he's accusing them of racism? Really? How do you think they feel about that? I think they're devastated. I think they're absolutely devastated. They, they were in fear for their life. Yeah. There's no doubt. How many more people did he want them to shoot? I mean, seriously. Danny Colson, great to see you. Thank you. Thank you.